to my fifth campaign of Baldur's Gate 3. Currently playing as an Origin character, well, Karlak, and we're playing on Honor Mode. Let's continue our journey. So, now I swapped out Shadowheart for Lazel, which could be the end of me because we are about to face the, well, the final boss of this area, the Crash. That's right. Uh, yeah. Let's go. It's this way, right? Yes. What's it going to take? So now we must face the infamous Inquisitor, whatever his name is. There's our auto save, so we can reload. Oh, yep. Nope. We cannot oh, reload. Goodness. Indeed. This place makes my skin crawl. No. Makes it run full pelt. I hope. No. Expect that Chibri will aid us. We'll be lucky if he doesn't start off with a cheap shot, I think. Let's go. I just need to be nice to Vlacket. That is all that I have to say. To avoid the freaking TPK. <laughs> Alright, I think I buffed everyone. Eager for battle. Yeah, even elixirs. Okay. Well. Sharai Vargas, Inquisitor of Vlaki. 145 HP. Legendary resistance. Um, legendary action. Here we go. He actually has one. Mind Claw of Tunara. Twice per round, Inquisitor Vargas can spend a legendary action to summon a Mind Claw of Tunarat after he or his allies are struck. Okay. When the claw strikes, Vargas may mind steal link with a target not already affected by this condition. Uh -huh. Mind steal link. Minus two penalty on its armor class and is vulnerable to psychic damage. Condition ends when the affected entity damages Shrai Vargas. Mind claw of Tunarath. Summon a vestigial echo of Vlakit's ire as a wicked psionic blade. I think he does this normally, right? This is something that he can do. So there's gonna be more. Alright, then he has like a warrior, scary, a ranger, and two caster, I think. Ardent. Yeah. They might have the ability to counter spell. They are easy to hit. Probably have shield. And who knows what else can happen, because this is honor mode. We don't have well we don't have to fight right now, but uh, our esteemed guest. Please approach. We have much to discuss. All right, buddy. My Arden spoke of one of our kin that escaped a crashing Gaik slave vessel. Chirai, Vlakith's justice in flesh. You have accomplished much, child. I am pleased to finally meet you. I heard there is so much goblin blood on your hands that it soaks their children's nightmares. To business. I suspect you plucked something precious from the Geek ship. Something that belongs to us. The weapon. Give it to me. Don't do it. The weapon is how I protect you. Do it. Do not disobey the Inquisitor. Shouldn't you be more concerned with the Mind Flayer invasion? What makes you think we are not? We are talking about the grand design. 
the restoration of the Illithid Empire, there is nothing of greater importance. But the weapon is the solution. I have heard it directly from Queen Vlakith herself. It is how we will stop the Mind Flayers before they destroy us all. Hand it over. How will this weapon stop the Mind Flayers? That is a secret known only to Queen Vlakith. Its significance is beyond both of our stations. So, the weapon. Please. Thank you for the smile. Don't give it to him. Is this the one? No. So, it is found. Lakith Gorg Skathzai. My queen. Skathzai. You are permitted to look upon me. You are invited to kneel. The Deathless Queen has spoken. You will obey. Okay. These attendants you keep, you taught them well, my child, my laser. Do you like my spear? It's blocking your view. <laughs> you know me. Blocking your view. Erlon of Kalia speaks most highly, as did Archaia before. You seek purity. I may yet grow. It's not a spear, it. but. Istic. You bear that which is ours. But are you friend or are you thief? I am a thief. Well, I'm the hero who found your weapon. Your utility is proven, but your heroism is yet to be witnessed. A test then. To see if you are as capable as you profess to be. That weapon you carry. The astral prison. It is corrupted. I will cleanse it for you, my queen. Tell me how. There is someone inside. Their mind is warped. Broken. A blight. They are an agent of the Grand Design, sent to sabotage the Astral Prism. Our last defense against the return of the Elithid Empire! As long as they live, the prison is compromised. Kill them! Do this. And I will cleanse you and your allies. Do this and ascend! Ascension? My queen. An honor gained. A burden borne. You must accept. Refuse. And you will know my fury. I'll do as you wish. Use the Planecaster's power to enter the artifact. Be wary of the creature's lying tongue. Cut it out if you must. And you're back again? The war gas? They are not to leave until it is done. As you say, my queen. Chmar Zalav Lakith. We will not waste a second. Um. Okay. <laughs> we have our orders from the Queen of the Gith Yankee herself, no less. Now might be the time to consider obeying them. 
Then why the F did you disapprove? Insert the artifact into the plane caster. I don't know about you, but I'm ready to see who or what is inside it. The Undying Queen has spoken. Insert the artifact into the Crescious Plane Caster. We will kill the threat inside. And I will have Lacket's eternal regard. She will cleanse me. She will ascend me. Place the weapon in the Plane Caster. Fulfill my Queen's most holy edict. Let's do that. Don't do it. Heat pulses out of the astral prism as it begins to flower. Time to meet the Dream Visitor. The concentration of psionic force is small but unmistakable. This must be a pocket of the astral plane. Time to go. Boundless. Timeless. Like every dream that ever was stitched together. I almost hit the power button on my PC. <laughs> my accident. Maybe another time, yeah? My flackets will end the prison dweller violently. If you desire conversation, please do find someone else. How nice of you. Get some loot. Could be useful for trading. We will talk in private. Just the two of us. I may have made a mistake trusting you. I told you to stay away from the Githyanki. But you just couldn't help yourself. Could you? And now... You've come here to murder me. Like it told me you're an agent of the Illithid Grand Design. <laughs> I told you I stole the artifact from someone. Well, I stole it from Vlakith. Since then, she has become desperate. She didn't deny Vlakith it. Vlakith wants me dead because I know her secret. It is a secret so great that if her people ever found out, that would be the end of her rule, the end of her. That same secret is how I've been protecting you from the Absolute. I can hear your thoughts. You think I'm lying. Vlakith warned you that I would try to deceive you. But consider this. What reason have I to deceive you? I want the same thing as you. Freedom. 
I'm on your side. I have been since the very beginning. Goddess asked me to kill you. I have no choice, you have to die. I really thought you wouldn't. We could have been so much more. But you had to choose this. Free weapon, yay! So, you are not to be trusted. I don't intend to make a habit of conversing with my killer, so I will be brief. Your survival depends on mine and mine on yours. It's less than ideal, but it is where we stand. I know a secret that Blacketh never wants to be revealed. It is the reason she mobilized her people to retrieve the Astral Prism. It is why she sent you to kill me, and why she will kill you once you leave this place. Since we are both dependent on your ability to survive that, you would do well to remember that without me, you would become a Mind Flayer. Now leave. I have a battle to return to. Speak. Have you killed my Queen's enemy? I tried, Lazel, but the target's unkillable. Unkillable? I don't believe you. Show me your mind. Your mind tingles. Lazel seeks entrance. Do it. Your thoughts become one. She sees the truth of your confrontation in an instant. Vlaketh Tafkinazin. I see only... only madness. My queen knows my faith. She would never condemn me. We must go to the Chirai. He will summon Vlakith. She must know of this. This apostate! To the crash. Now. All right. Assume nothing. Vlakith's will be done. Ready and willing. Let's get ready. Attention. Here comes the shit show. Let's go. Oh, wish me luck. Lazel, I've been waiting. You are named Hashalak. Bend your head. For my blade is ready. Chirai, please! Summon Vlaketh! There's much- Irrelevant, Gake wretch! The Queen has spoken. Your death is decreed! You realize what Lazel doesn't? Whatever the outcome of your visit to the Astral Prism, Vlaketh had no intention of letting either of you live. Crash, Yilik! With me! To the death! Ha! Your crash is already dead. It's just you who remain. Alright, bring it on. Who goes first? The raider. Okay, they are not... Surprised at all. I'll start with Falaraluv Melody. Freak. Two steps at a time. God damn it. No holding back. Uh, uh. 
Okay. What is your damage? It looks like a 200 weapon, so 2d6. Mine claws available, 1. Nope. Nope. Not on my watch. Now there's a tiny little problem here. I don't know if they can counter spell or not. So let me use my daily magic missile right now. They cannot. Um. Let's just go. How? Okay. Darn it. Scratch. Attack the boss. I got this. Bird. It might be better if you actually go and blind the ranger. That could help us. Lovely. My turn. And I would like to rage. Now, let's delete this trash caster here. Threatened? Not anymore. <laughs> Rest in peace. And now the focus is on you. Oh, you just wasted your action. Lovely. Lazel. Daily Mr. Step. Less rate. Again. Still alive, 1 HP. Magic missile. That's right. Come on. What are you doing, buddy? Your life is over. That's like zero chance. 5 AC ah, They can hit hard Ow Survive this. I mean, he's gonna survive it, isn't it? You know what? That's how we roll. Oh -ho! Sorry, team. Ah! 
Nice try. Go on. Ah. Oh. Ah, rest in peace. All right. Miss. I'm gonna break your soul then. Or not. Impressive resistance, but few. With nine HP? This guy's dead. Holy shit, okay. Why it was nice knowing you, Chirai Vargas. Scratch. Raul. Actually hit. Bird. In that case. Time to strike. Bye bye. I'm glad you came to your senses. Now leave. Before the others come for us. Well, that just happened. Vlakith. Vlakith. I have wielded your fury as a blade. Roared your wrath as a dragon. You promised ascension. Yet I crawl among my own people. Low as an asp's belly. Shkaketh! I followed your path. What good? This heart of stone. For it to be shattered. She tests me. A trial of faith. Kalir prepared yes, mass me. murdered everyone in Only the crash, the laser. soul soar to the astral. Such a fool, naive character. Yes. But I love her. Yes. I might gain Vlaketh's favor yet. You are an enemy of your people now. You need to accept that. Silence! I must think. Let's dash for the exit, lest we suffer the full extent of Vlaketh's fury. I think we taught that Inquisitor a very valuable lesson. Won't be ambushing anyone else in a hurry, or doing anything else, for that matter. Yep. I am Vlacket's most loyal servant. She will not abandon me. Pride of the gate. Hey, good looking. Oh, nice little nap. Well, that was fun. Fool. He thought he can stop me? Really? Empty crates? It is empty.
the skin burster. Necklace of Elemental Augmentation. I know one of your cantrips deal acid called fire lightning or blah blah blah. That would be a great one for Gale, but Gale has the magic missile build. And that one is going strong. And it doesn't offer force damage, so can't use that. That is a lovely potion. Circle of Psychic Revenge. That's a get Yankee buff. Diadem of Arcane Synergy. Weapon attacks deal additional damage equal to affected and spellcasting ability modifier. When you inflict a condition gain, that. Um. I mean, yeah. Haste helm, bye bye. The rest we can sell. So now there's only Greenforge left, right? Then I'm completely done with Act 1. Up. Oh. While concentrating on a spell, the Venerous Weapon attacks deal additional 1d4 psychic damage. I give scrolls of protection from evil and good, cast it with Lazel, and as long as no one breaks her concentration, she should be able to deal even more psychic damage. 2d4, thanks to the weapon. That's cool. I could even give her the caustic band then. Yes, I mean, insane amount of damage. That's all without the uh, great weapon master. Hello. The next time I get a feat, I need to start adding uh, alert. All right. When the wearer deals thunder, lightning, or radiant damage, inflict two turns of reverberation upon the target. Hmm. I think that's better. Now you have this, which is a passive, that's also passive, so I can send this one away, and also send this one away. Because you deal lightning damage thanks to the spell sparkler, and you also deal thunder damage if I use Falera Louvre. So that's a win-win, baby. But this is the best, it's, I don't know, a Tempest Cleric. It's an endgame gloves for a Tempest Cleric. Lotha 
Amanda bids the setting sun a fond farewell. Or frost boots. You cannot fall prone while traversing icy terrain. That's also a nice one to have. If you make someone like a frost build. And just give this one to someone else in the party. Like Lazo. Because right now the speedy life feat is useless on Lazo. I need to give up an action to use that. Lathander blesses the rising, bountiful sun. Lathander bids the setting sun a fond The statue farewell. starts to rotate, but its rusty mechanism jams stuck. 25 check. The statue starts to rotate. But its rusty mechanism jams stuck. Got it. Or is it it's the other way around, right? What's behind yep. the secret door? Soldier? A secret loot. And not an instrument loot. An actual good freaking weapon for Act 2. Daybreak Gate. Like it hasn't been touched in a millennium. Incredible. You must have. You shouldn't have tried me. <laughs> <laughs> Oh boy. Two steps at a time. I've seen people getting a TPK here they on honor mode. For a good meal. Honk honk. Let's see. Lavander's light may be infinite, but his mercy is not. Return now. Nope. I'm here for the blood of Lavander. Because I have the thing. The Git Yankee Agno. Damn, that's happy. You keep it. And I still <laughs> haven't used the freaking soul coin in the freaking goddamn game and nor the lumps warhorn. Bloody hell, Jibun Fe, please use items. Now where is it? We got the thing. We got the thing. It's 
save the day. Because it's ours. Hell yeah. The blood of the thunder. If I become an Eldritch Knight... Wait, no, I, this is not something to throw. It's not a throwing weapon. Okay. What happens if I do this? It gets equipped. That's the problem. That would be cool if it returns to your inventory if you have something else equipped, but that's not how it works. However, I can run around with this and still throw this weapon, which returns instantly to my hand so it doesn't take an action to equip it. So I can still start a fight with this in my hand. To blind enemies ne nearby. And also we'll just use Sunbeam once per long rest. Then just throw this weapon. Let's just go. I have a feeling that as long as no one can counterspell me, nor use shield against magic missile, this build is going to get ripe with magic. It's gonna be busted. Not a charmer. I'm gonna destroy everything. And I'm not going to feel bad about it. I'm here for my golden dice. So I cannot go easy on the enemies. Not this time. The game is trying hard anyway to Well There's no reason to finish that sentence because Let me at it. if you've been following this playthrough then you should know that this game has been trying so hard to F up my run. Lisa has such a nice build now. I always feel bad to swap someone out because they're great in the party. For me. I still have a feeling that I should have Shadowheart in the party. Do we really need to do that? Liz is gonna be mad if I don't do that. How I have longed for these familiar sounds and sights. And all this I'll be. So even the ferocious Lazel has a soft side. A possessive side. What is a warrior without something precious to protect? Now here, here's a little problem with this. 
now this could end up entirely different differently because we could do the scene without the what is the Gichenki name for that? G Gastil? Gastil is like the healer? Doctor? Yeah, Gastil. Gitrak is the leader. Gish is the caster. Then there's one more. Varsh. That's like the teacher. There's also Savarsh. Anyway, um, quick save for no reason. I cannot let this thing... I cannot fail these. Oh my god, how the F should I do this? I cannot afford to lose stats on main character, obviously, and I cannot... If I lose stats on Laser, then... She's out of the party. Getting close. So for now, Gail. How can I help? By leaving the party. I question the wisdom of I'll be here. Thank you. I think we've overstayed our welcome in this place. If we ever truly had one to begin with, we should leave. All right. Correct. Look at all this stuff that we have with Shadowheart. Shah's blessings upon you. Now we leave. Oh. device is strange, made of taut flesh and pockmarked metal. It waits for something. The Zathisk. Vlakith's purity distilled. My duty. My right. That's fine, it's just an investigation. I have two. Device is part organic, Only two inspiration. Part synthetic. But you can't tell how it was made. Or how it works. It looks pretty... Stand aside! Elited to me. My time has come. Do it. Praise Vlakith. Let it be done. No awaken buff this time. No saves coming. We need to get her out of this thing. The first time. The first check. Is he gonna lose charisma, intelligence, wisdom, and constitution? An unseen blade cleaves your mind in two. Impossible pain sears your bones and body in concert with Lazelle's. You feel Lazel's mind rip and rupture. Is this purification? Is this the cure? Really? Persuasion check? It's gonna be like 20. <laughs> Alright. Get out, girl. Let's go. Yes. I, oh, yes. Oh, I feel it. Get out. Oh, splitting, burning. Ah! Oh my God. Holy shit! We did. Holy. F what madness is this? The Zethis can nearly destroyed me. I am Githyanki! I will not be Geich! Oh my fucking god. <laughs> I no, can't believe that shit. It can't be! It can't! This was my right! 
That was too close. I followed protocol. Holy I kept shit. to my I can't faith. I managed to do that. Yet the Zathisk might have killed me. The Gusto must have tampered with it. An aberrance I can't begin to comprehend. That rolled six dice. As just is all to make sure. of Kresh Yillik. Are traitors so common among the Githyanki? Question mark. Lakith has taught us of his Sharlak. Traitors hunted, slaughtered and erased from our histories. Few would dare dishonor their queen. Fewer still would be so brazen. Vlakith must have some purpose, some design I'm not meant to see. In my queen I trust. One day soon she will honor me for it. She must. Smoke rises like hot breath, but whatever semblance of life once powered the Zaethisk is gone. So, the Githyanki have no cure for our condition, unless you count death as a cure. I won't pretend to be surprised. The menacing Githyanki machine and its jagged pincers held no cure at all. Who could have thought? Indeed. I mean... You must have questions. Right. Now we can leave. Get out of here. Go to Trialta Crags. And trade. Seems this individual doesn't think very your offer appears to be of interest. Let's make it a good one. Maybe I shouldn't trade with her. <laughs> but you know what I can do? Ruin our reputation. has caused upset. Now a fight is unavoidable. No holding back. Really? Uh, no. Well, well, Stay down. Well. There's nothing else that we can take. Where to? At least she's still alive, and I'm keeping the egg this time. North, Rosy Morn Monastery. West, Moonrise Towers. South, Joaquin's Rest. Broken. Must be another way somewhere. Yeah, this way. Hmm. Walk 
walk in the way of dawn, for the thunder cannot protect you where the light doth not reach. Very traveler. Catch? No. You killed all these animals? Do not walk in darkness. Turn to the light. Oh, there's a hatchet in the island. Why would I bury a weapon? Is it broken? <laughs> I cannot hear Shadow. I do not know your metaphor. But if you need help digging, I will find a shovel. <laughs> Who there? Hi, 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 hi. I inquire if should it be now, if this aunt's uh, ever a man. And I would my thanks for your excellent guidance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On behalf of the mystery is aware. That is why I have come here to charge you. Thank you, the old president. You must find. He is not. You bring with. It is done to you. I commit into care Gale himself. I count on you. Or some other fortune altogether. Like and he farewell. I cannot bring Gale with me to Moonrise Towers. Because I might fail a check to stop him from exploding. <laughs> I don't want that to happen. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh, quite ah. the cozy setup you have here. Do you have money? I'll just make myself comfortable. Thank you. you. Do that's an overkill. Do we have an interesting uh, scroll for us? Something that's not that expensive. Well, let's start removing the... Lovely. Now I can speak with Shadow Her. Actually, Shadow Heart can stay. Yeah, Shadow Heart can stay. Please always stay back. Elminster. Even the Githyanki have heard tell of the Sage of Shadowdale. Some of his works have been translated to Tisu. That doesn't mean his every word carries wisdom, however. Yeah, he just told Near Gale to. Mistra demands K Gale's faith, y -S. but holds no faith in him. Why else K would she demand Gale sacrifice himself Kiss? and perhaps so many others? Does she not think he can destroy the Absolute with his own immense talents? Does she not know the mighty company that he keeps? Demanding Vlakith may be, but she acts for the good of the Githyanki people. Mistra is concerned only for herself. Bah. <sighs> Perhaps he'd find forgiveness in a fiery death. But I can't help but wonder why he'd want it at all. Thanks for the monologue, but please. Are you sure that's the best course of action? Yes. Confirmed. I'm the physical damage dealer anyway. I can't believe Mistress demanding Gale sacrifice himself to destroy the Absolute. It's just a waste of a perfectly good cult that we could be controlling. And a waste of a perfectly good Gale, I suppose. <laughs> An audience with Elminster is never less than memorable. I'd have hoped to introduce you to him in less dire circumstances. But those are hard to come by these days. 
Yeah, well, actually, I was hoping to talk about something else. No comment on a visit from the finest wizard in the realms. The famed Elminster of legend and lore? <laughs> you are hard to impress. I thought that was so, your granddad. What did you wish to speak about? Um, join me. With pleasure. Um, what? Let's ride. Double trouble, double shovel. You wish to speak? Nope. No dialogue with you, nice. A shame my first brush with the famed Elminster couldn't be a tad more optimistic. Listen, I might invoke the triad from time to time, appeal to Helm, but I'm no man of faith. Not like Gale. I don't know what drives a man to consider his own death among countless others to be an appropriate exchange for his goddess's forgiveness. To me, it all sounds like nonsense. The faith that matters most is that which you hold in yourself, in the ones that most matter to you. Big bomb be damned. Gale's got everything he needs to defeat the absolute already. Talent, nerve, and powerful allies at his side. Magic missile. I hope he'll come to see that. Right, good talk. Uh, now we can continue, right? about one thing but good thing that we have this feature which I fr freaking love we can just do it like this there done don't have to freaking kick the party all around Your arrows, Astarion. I need to use these barrels. There's so many of them. I think I still have a couple in my chest. <laughs> Two hundred necklace, helmet, gloves, boots, ring. Food. <laughs> That's a lot. That's a big boom. I could save it for the finale, but no. I don't want to destroy my graphics card. Alright, we can leave. I'm a little bit afraid of this thing, so let me just... I'm sure. Soldier. Mm. La la la. Don't know why that happened. To the Shadow Curse Lands. We go. We are going to the Shadow Curse Lands. And I didn't talk with the stupid bird, but that's completely fine and I don't care. You are about to progress your adventure. Make sure to tie up any loose ends before advancing. I think we can still go to near. To the Green Forge area. I mean, we can return there, I just don't know if I actually skip stuff because of doing this. And I think I can just end the day. Yes. You're correct, Asterion. I can just end it. But now, Vos is about to show up. Just like this. <laughs> Tilav Lacketh, has our queen sent a knight to slay me with his own blade? Such informality, child. Does Gestil Kithrak not command your respect? Your blade speaks for you, Kithrak. You've come for blood. Child of Gith, I've not come to kill you. I've come to aid you. Let's get the laser screenshots. Don't trust him.
Skakek Kir Gith Shabeleth. My blade rests. Mother Gith compels you to listen. Your queen hunts us. Why in the hell should we listen to you? Because I know who you are. And I know about the astral prism. Within it lies the seed of Vlakith's demise. And I intend to help you bring it to fruition. Vlakith's demise? Skakith! I should run you through for suggesting it. You must be either a fool or a hero to work against your own queen. A fool stumbles without cause. A hero serves a cause without question. I am neither. Clear of heart, clear of mind, and bound by no master. Now, you must listen. The Prism's tenant can put an end to Vlakith's tyranny. They must be let loose. I've sought their freedom for eons. When the prism went missing, I feared the worst. Instead, you've granted the opportunity I've so long awaited. All that remains is the key that unchains them. And I've found someone who I believe can provide it. Bring the prism to Baldur's Gate. I'll be waiting in a taproom called Shares's Caress. That is where we decide the fate of my people. Lazel, together we will break our chains and be Vlakith's slaves no longer. I am no slave, just still Kithrak. The Undying Queen is my freedom. It is she who will purify me and she who will ascend me. Lies, Lazel, every last one. There is no purification, no ascension. The Zaith Isk does not purify, it extracts memory and kills the infected. Nor does the Lich Queen glorify the Ascended. She feeds on most all of them to grow her power and pursue godhood. Madness. You flood me with this... this heresy. There we go. I will hear no more of it. Who is the person inside the prison? If they have not said, they must have good reason. And I won't be the one to betray them. He speaks true of the Zaytisk. You need to trust him. I served Vlaketh the whole of my life. Learned her words, fought her battles, yet she names me her Sharlak. Your words carry truth. I will meet you in Baldur's Gate. Do not make me regret it. Lazel, I see Talakma gear in you. Sister in freedom. Together we will be our people's light. Take this. It is a Quanith, a psionic detector. The Queen's warriors hunt you. The Quanith will sound you out when you come near their portals. Hear its cry and prepare for battle or slip away. No such thing as slip I should away. Go. Vlakith's gaze pierces the seas and skies. She believes me loyal, and I can't afford her mistrust. Keep the astral prism close. Let no one take it from you. Slay any who try. Now to Baldur's Gate. I'll be waiting, Lazel. Why can't we go together? That would be the best choice at this moment what will Voss have to show for himself when we catch up with him I wonder 
His intelligence may yet prove the key to unlocking the artifact's secrets. We should ensure we follow up when we reach Baldur's Gate. Is Mr. Always such a demanding goddess? She expects those who seek to use the weave to do so honestly and with respect for its potential to destroy as well as its potential to save. I doubt she's asked many of her followers to blow themselves up. That's a fate she's bequeathed exclusively to me. She wouldn't ask such a thing if it weren't our only means of survival. However much she's annoyed at me. All right. There's a schism growing among the Githyanki people. And Lazel just took one step towards choosing a side. Correct. Now let's end this freaking day. Or not. Who wants to do Oh, it's Lazel, okay. A word, please. I didn't expect Lazel to turn on the Lich Queen so readily. Wonders never cease. Vlakith cost seven crath crash head. Only in Vlakith may we find light. These were the first words I ever read on Tirsu Slate. But they are no mere aphorism. They are law. They are creed. The root from which the 10,000 protocols stem. Forsake one protocol and forsake Vlakith. Forsake Vlakith and be the blood and meat which sates her dragons. If Voss speaks true, if Ascension is a lie, if Tadpole Purification is a fairy tale, then I have not sinned against Vlakith. She has sinned against me. Obviously, it's about time you figure it out. Obvious, you say. <laughs> but does the Dragon of the Sky ever look to the worm and dream of crawling? I was taught but one way. The superior way, Vlakith's way. Until now, I never thought Vlakith a tyrant or me as a vassal. She was the source of my might, and I the envoy of her will. A warrior, a champion, a destroyer. Who is the one in the prison, do you think? I don't know. I can't know, and that drives me mad. At first, I thought them an illithid deception, a trick of the tadpole. But the dream figure is real. It lives in the prism. Vos believes they are the seed of Vlakith's demise and the agent of Githyanki freedom. And I believe he may be right. And if Vos is wrong, if you click. If his claims are wrong and Vlakits are real. Then, when the Kithraki come for me, and come they will, I will submit to their blades. They would feed me to their dragons, and I would deserve no better. What does Ascension entail exactly? Ascension is a young Githyanki's greatest honor. Long ago, the Geich enslaved my people. They dominated our minds and bred us for war, until Great Mother Gith took a hammer to our bonds. From the day of our hatching, young Gith have one purpose, to train hard enough to slay a Geich and take its head. Then, we speak the rite of ascension, and a red dragon comes to fly us to Vlakith, in Tunarath, City of Death. We are honored with an eternal home in the Astral, Celebrated for our victory, we are ascended. Or so I believed. Well, it's time to move on. Yes. I'd like time to think. We'll meet Kithrak Voss at Charest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. 
So. We are heading into Act 2 a little bit. I wonder if we can go around and use the elevator to return to Grimforge instead of using the the raft, the boat from the Underdark. And we are almost level 7, I think. This darkness, it hurts. You must feel it too. Ah, uh, are you the true soul? No, I killed him, and you're next. Let's put away that again, trip. <laughs> No. The blade will not bend. What am I going to do? Shadowheart. Swap your weapon. That skill. Swap your weapon back. Shadowheart. Swap your weapon. You gonna need that. Pride of the gate. There is work to do. Uh, since that's a throwing weapon. So, there's the thing. Um, oh yeah. I wanted that one. Quite ready for you. Is this a permanent bug now? Yes. That's problematic. I'll have to, thanks. Alright, ready to move on. Saddle up. Hmm. Oh, yeah. 
think that's gonna work. I can feel the shadow's power here, but you don't seem to put up a fight. But who'd kill an ox out here unless bored by an ox, I think. Was this one of the and I guess... from the Druid's Grove? Yep. If only I could click on that book. The Shadow Curse. It doesn't seem to affect me like it does others. Not as badly, at least. Do you know what this means? I must be blessed. Lady Shah is protecting me where others are left to face her wrath. She loves me. She must do. Good for you. But what about me? You're resourceful. You'll find a way. <laughs> <laughs> Don't give me that look. It's a good thing that I'm resistant to the shadows. This way I can help you. Lady Shah wouldn't bless me like this That's for no true. reason. Like... There must be something Somebody she else could use that uh, maze. Those signs we found about dark justice. The blood of Latanda. Perhaps they were no coincidence. Shadowheart is even. In either case, I need to watch for any place dedicated to Lady Shah. A temple, perhaps. This place. There's a power in these shadows. I can sense it. It's ancient. Familiar. never seen such a concentration of shadow magic. We must forge on, but carefully. It will corrupt any who lack the power to control it. You're a wizard. Shouldn't you be able to control it? Not all wizards are made the same, nor do we wield the same powers. This magic is the very antithesis of all the weave stands for. The magic of confusion and corruption, drawn forth only by those desperate or damned enough to accept its degradations. Followers of Mistra, those who call on the true weave, are expressly forbidden to indulge it. Are you still bound by Mistra's doctrine? Ah, ha, ha, ha. Ah, what an interesting question. Her doctrine is more than just a personal opinion forms the very essence of wizardry. I'm in no rush to discard it. Technically, of course I could dabble in such practices. I've yet to find a form of magic I'm not a born natural in wielding. As for whether I should wield it, I would rather depend on the circumstances and how closely I felt Mistra was watching. Now, I think it's time we moved on to lighter subjects. For we too are lost to the darkness. Was there anything else? Nope. Hold close to the light and keep the shadows at bay. Okay. I can do that. Time to open the chest, the will. That is the job for you. You just need to roll six. On my way. Right. Now we're gonna run into these fools. Hello. Hey, boy. You want the bone? Fish. What you doing? Ah. 
Else, I near stained myself. Just seeing if this shadow curse is as bad as they say. Word is, it eats anyone gets too deep into the dark. I'll take it you're the true soul we're waiting on. Needs passage to moonrise. I thought light was enough to keep the curse at bay. Aye, in the shallows. But a curse don't care about some itty bitty light once you get deeper. But don't worry, boss. We've got a guide. Talk to Kansif inside. He'll run through it. Will do, thank you. Anything for a true soul. Put in a good word for me at Moonrise, eh? Mm. I don't know your smell. Uh, are you a friend? Of course I am. That makes me happy. I like the goblins, but the goblins don't like me. They beat me because I am weak, because I am soft, even though I try my best. You belong to the wild, not to the goblins. Go and be free. Nice. But, but the goblins said I must stay here, or they'll cut me, kill me. I'll slit their necks if they so much as try. You would fight the goblins for me? Hell yeah. I'm scared. Will approves. But I don't want them to hurt me anymore. Maybe I should go. Go. Well, thank you. Goodbye, new friend. But watch out for the curse. Time for a natter. Piss off. I'm busy. That's not nice. Can we get moving? Nab these boots from a gnome and they don't bloody fit. Stay sharp. These shadows can sneak up on you. What's up, dude? So, an honor. Did you bring the liar? True souls don't answer stupid questions. Forgive me, true soul. We are simply eager to reach Moonrise as soon as we can. We were told to expect a true soul. That Night Warden Mintharo would send someone with her lyre to summon a guide through the darkness. If the Night Warden did not send you, who did? What are you doing here? I'm here to destroy the Absolute and every last cultist. What? <laughs> Let's go. Alright, so. Starting with... I think we can use Shriek. Plenty of enemies. Too bad that there's only one character who gets the reverberation from this. Skill sharp eye, if I can. Oh, I cannot. That's okay. That's gonna hit, I guess. Might use his channel divinity as well. Nah, that's fine. Eight damage. No reaction. All right, Gail. Torment. One down. Dagger. Ooh. 
Nice bite. Tim down. Oh, you can do that. Boo. Hitting yourself. It's bad for your health. Told you. Making the move. Ah, I just gonna run away. Damage wasn't enough. Scratch, go and lick will. There. Scratch is so powerful, he can just lick the fire off of people. Fuck yes. Oi. Potion of greater healing. How dare you? Stop drinking my loot. Down with you. Smack. Level up first. Level 7. Now I can start uh, doing some multiclassing once I'm go. Oh, we cannot get. Oh, cannot be surprised. That's actually nice. Don't need alert. Cleric level 7. You have Dominant Beast and Grasping Wine. Yeah, those are not that great. Death Ward is gonna be helpful. And let me prepare this thing. Will. Level 4 Rogue or level 4 Warlock. The choice is obvious. Warlock. Extra Cantrip. High Illusion. Extra Spell. Maybe hold person isn't such a bad idea. Now we can also use darkness. Because we have Devil's Sight. Replace spell. I think I can drop Dissonant Whispers for... Old person. Beat. We can go up to 20 Charisma, because we do have the Hag's hair. And I think that's all right. Gale, level 7, lovely. New spells. New spells. 
Banishment, Blight, Confusion, Minor Elemental, Diamond Jundor, Edward's Black Tentacles, Fire Shield, Greater Invisibility, Ice Storm? Scroll of Knock is super rare. Let me learn that. Because I can just learn other spells. I'll drop Glyph of Warning for Ice Storm. For sure. Fly. And greater invisibility. And see invisibility. Because why the F not? do um hmm. sharp as ever I wonder what the next move is yeah that's all right um His Majesty, what happened here? You are not a legendary. Okay, you're just what normal. did they do? Character. I slaughter them like I'm going to slaughter you. They will pay for this. They will die for this. Bring it on. No sanctuary. Let's go. I'm gonna do something that I've never done before. 
bless. A bless will. Karlak and Shadow Art. And summon a spiritual weapon Trident. This is something that you cannot do in the end. It casts two leveled spells in, in the same turn, but we are fine here. God, it's hot in here. Scratch attack. My turn. Shovel and turn. Up. You try to attack. Lovely crit. Gale. Try to heal block. All right. No heals for him. It's gonna feel good. Do I want Shriek again? This is for you, oh, I'll do that first. Oh, you can actually do this. I was <laughs> I was trying to hide against him. But you can force someone to face you. That's cool. So now I could hide the party. Hide my rogues behind him. Alright, Karlak. It's go time. I had more rogues, but it's Will who's the rogue. Alright. Frenzy time. Brace yourselves. No. Should have started with this one. Critting. Ow. Alright. Guess what? On the victor's path. Don't have airway, huh? Whoopsie daisy. <laughs> and rage throw. Pointless to use that ability. Okay, you can just shatter. Oh yeah, I can target anywhere. Should Onward. go over there. Do this. And this. Whoa. Patience. Not nice. You are not nice. Over there. Battle favors the fearless. Catch. My little trick. Unlucky. You know what? 
Kriegt his ass. I don't fancy their chances. Wait, I can do this. Let's go. And it's over. HP again. The lantern gives off a chilly glow, protecting all in its vicinity from the surrounding shadows. You notice a tiny pixie trapped within. Oh, please! Oh, golly! Me, oh, my! You must release me or I'll die! This lantern only lights the way when I am hurting night and day! You're... Fuel for the lantern? How does that work? My pixie dust is bright as day. My injuries can light the way. Cruelty and cleverness are all too common bedfellows. Let's side with cleverness alone, shall we? See what we can do to save this verse-loving pixie. Who are you? My name. My name is Dolly Thrice. Now won't you free me from this vice? What's this mechanism at the base of the lantern? I dare not name it, newfound friend. The faintest touch could spell my end. All right. Finally! Been trapped in that coffin with no one but a mad rider and my own farts for company. <laughs> Did me a good turn there, Love didn't you? What do I owe you? I need to get through the shadow curse. Can you help? Sure I can, but will I? Yeah, sure, why not? Here, give this bell a shake. Speak the magic words and you'll get what you've earned. Protection from the shadow curse. What more could a dingus want? You're welcome. And now we have protection against even the most dangerous things. curse in this game. Almost makes the mortal peril worth it. Almost. So we are completely fine from the curse. I should unwind it. Which is freaking lovely. Last time I wasn't using the pixie. And it was quite difficult to win the adventure. Broken. Oh, we got one glove. Thermo Arcanic Gloves. Whenever you deal fire damage, you gain two turns of heat. I don't like this mechanism. Don't like this at all. We can collect more of these. Getting new lanterns for the party because they look cooler. We don't need that stuff anymore, and that's it. Lovely. Cruel Sting. The Drow Elf wielding this weapon deals additional 1d4 poison damage against restrained targets. Only a Drow Elf. Mintara could use this. And it has ensnaring strands, which you can use. But it deals 1d6 psychic damage, so it's a, this is a nice weapon. 
If I manage to get Mintara, she can use it. Like a one hand shield. Building build, maybe. Who knows? Send it to camp for now. Alrighty. Yeah. Let's deal with this encounter right here. Severed head. Stretch. Oh, I could go for a good meal. Don't fetch. You poor idiot. Hi. <laughs> I'm the one who's surprised. <laughs> right, maybe we should wait this combat out. Might be able to surprise them. Got it. Nope. Can't do that. Scratch was going for the freaking dagger. Looks like I got it back. <laughs> Gone. I have to survive this. Time to fill some graves. Nice. Keep it quiet. Knees high. On your spot, Will. Let's kill the small one. Or do an attempt. Don't see a thing from down here. Okay. Oh, there's two more there. Two more big one. Uh, let's give the party bless. Well, you can attack. That's a potential kill. Indeed. That's why I wake up in the morning. <laughs> huh. Now this is my happy place. Can't give up, not now. Right. Let's go. No, it works, okay. That was weird. I can rage. Bonus damage. First. I'm gonna throw this. Over there. And I'm gonna throw, throw one of these. Boom. I end my turn.
the scratch, you can try to bait them. This is my time. Will. Now I can use this. Gone. One can't always be a gentleman. Girl. Is advantage, huh? Fine. Going for the kill then. Shadowheart, best cantrip in the game. Lens seven damage. Ooh, can he reach me? Axe. Step on it, guys. What did you find, Scratch? That, that might, might be worth it. That one. Let's see. White and Scarlet die. I mean, we all have the same color. At least I can do this to you, Gale. They look slightly different in the camp. And it's time to update mine as well. That's pretty much normalish. something useful down here I don't remember One that gives ice knife, that's meh. I could also send it, man. This is such a troll thing that they leave that wine. And the AI doesn't care about it. The AI doesn't know that it's a... Host hostile? Well, it's a dangerous terrain surface. Let's see. Ooh, I just hit the two hour mark in this episode. Which means I'm gonna end it soon. But first I would like to 
get a waypoint. You looking for this scratch? Found it myself. Where is the thing? It's down here, right? Item that doesn't pop a single quest in the game. This is the place. Amulet with fog cloud. Wasn't there like? Hmm. Defender of the people. No trouble at all. There we go. Don't remember this area. These war implements could go in a museum if they weren't half rotten. A century old, I'd say. We all managed to jump up? Nice. The old remains sport green armor and garb. What banner did they march under? Can't afford to stay idle. Ah. How did Will get up here? What's next? If the others can follow. Where am I needed? How did you do it, pal? Marching. You all have 10 strength. Alright. <clears throat> gonna play Sherlock here. And we're gonna find it out. What gives him extra jump speed, jump distance? Cat's Grace. Probably. 
sharp as ever. It actually does not give you that. Lovely day, this. For now. What's the description? Yeah, no, no. That's that's not it. All right. The investigation continues. Nope. 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 No. Your armor. The actual armor gives you that. God damn it. Right, we are going back. We are going this way. Saddle up. Case closed. And we didn't even need Watson. Show me the fall damage. I can also go this way, but I don't want to. Before I end this episode. Let's fight Time spots. Something over there. the Shadow Mastiffs, these guys. Bring it on. Bye forever, pal. Even dark. Good idea, Carl. Your turn. Bonk. Big mistake. Let there be a light. Watch this. simple you know what I'll be nice and I'm gonna also include this fight that doesn't make me nice at all catch <gasps> oh, surprised do I really get back my weapon
that's not a bug, right? I mean, some some way it is a bug. Because Scratch is about to return it to me, but... if Because the fight starts... It cancels the animation and the movement. And I'll get it back right away. Alright, Will. You know the drill. That's a surprise enemy. So you can only deal critical hits. Scratch. Just hide. Moving. Shadow Heart. Guiding Bolt. 20 damage. Gale. Magic Missile level 2. Action, no. We have advantage. We can use a scroll of... Scorching Ray. Too dark, my ass. I don't have dark vision now, huh? I didn't do the thing. Alright, don't care. Managed to land each hit? Maybe? Bonk! Aww. Come closer, yeah, that's right. Big mistake. You too heavy to throw. This is my time. You have a lot of HP. I'm here to fix that. Delay. Hit me if you dare. Easy. Damage. Ooh, lovely crit. Nope. Hello there. Can I help? <laughs> I broke my own shield and stunned both of them. Close ranks. Goodbye, losers. You picked the wrong tiefling. Chest of Harry Potter. Soldier. The magic. I am ready to rest my weary. Soon, Carlac, like soon. Come on, let's go. I also need to do that soon. Are you in need of a paperweight? Calm down. Shadow Cloaked Ring. The various weapon and unarmed attacks deal additional 1d4 damage against slightly 
or heavily obscured creatures, and targets made of shadow. When a bear deals radiant damage, the target receives two turns of radiating orb. I mean, there. How is this a clothing item? All right. This is actually nice. I'm gonna give it to that movement speed is unnecessary. There, yeah, so you can deal additional 1d4 damage with your crossbow offhand attack. I give this one to Astarian. Anyway, now I'm gonna end this. So, thank you guys for watching and I will see you in the next one. Take care and have a lovely, wonderful day or night. We'll see what I can do. See you in the next one. Cheers. And I think there's a magical item in this song. So let me just Damn, double check be before alive. I end it. That's the ways. Ring of Twilight. Plus one AC while obscure. We need poison resistance right now. I don't think so. I'm gonna send it to camp, give it to kill, and he doesn't have plus one AC because we are blinded by the light. So, thank you guys for watching again, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care and have a lovely, wonderful, blah 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 blah. I said that already. Cheers.